Hey, Len Erickson here. How many of you out there still remember what a Polaroid is? I surely do. Some of my fondest memories have been with these old Polaroids. Today I'm going to show you how to have a little bit of fun with Photoshop and bring back the Polaroids. So let's get started. Hey, Len Erickson here with another great purveyor of light Photoshop quick tip. Today we've got a fun one actually. Today we're going to bring back the Polaroid. Let me show you how we can make a quick Polaroid collage and have a lot of fun doing it. So let's get started. So here I picked out a nice photograph of a family and uh, photographing in a sunflower field and you know the colors and the, and the textures, it all just screams to me let's bring back the Polaroid. So I think this is a perfect candidate for just this project. So let's get started in this. Well the first thing we need to do is select the background layer and let's go ahead and duplicate that by hitting Command J. That gives us a duplicate copy of our background and I'm gonna need another image to work and complement this image and I went ahead in the pre time and uh, selected this wood grain image. I thought this would be really nice to have the Polaroids uh, collage out on this wood grain uh, has nice texture and such things will add a lot of nice depth to the photo so in order to move that over into our other photo we just click and drag and we lift up into this and then we let go onto this image and now we position the wood grain behind our layer one and you can see we have our sunflowers and we have our wood grain behind it so now we're going to go ahead and give ourselves a new layer and we're going to actually go ahead and use our rectangular selection tool and we're going to go ahead and draw out a rough estimate. We're going to try to make as close as we can to a square. Okay, a square in, and we want to get it just as close as we can and there we go we have our square and that's going to represent our picture square that's in the Polaroid film. So we're going to come up and go hit edit, fill, and then we're going to fill this with black. And we're going to hit OK. And so now we can't see anything except our selection and that's because the entire top image is uh, being displayed. So let's go ahead and take our top layer and select it and now let's convert the top layer into what's called a clipping mask. So right click on the top layer and hit create clipping mask. And there you go. You can see now that our entire image is being clipped just to the selection area. The area we filled with the uh, black fill layer. Okay, so let's continue. So we're going to go ahead and add another layer, if I can stop calling up the other one. All right, and I'm going to drag that below, and I'm going to use the rectangular thing, and I'm going to draw a border. Okay, everybody remembers what the Polaroids look like. I'm going to try to get that as close as I can to an actual Polaroid. And I have a pretty good selection there. And then instead of filling it with black, I'm gonna fill it this time with white because the Polaroids are all white bordered. So here we go. We select that, we fill with white. And there we go. We've got a nice Polaroid here. Uh, and if we move these two layers together, okay, you can see by using the move tool, we can actually move this around anywhere we wish okay so you can see the magic here of the clipping mask so we can get really creative okay now I'm not quite happy with this because if you look at this the Polaroid looks flat it looks fake it doesn't have any depth so we need to we need to make this a little more realistic before we move on so I'm going to select the uh, top layer here, which represents the square inside the Polaroid. And let's go ahead and hit a, an effect here, and let's do a bevel and an emboss. Okay, and we're going to select a bevel and emboss. We're going to go in a down position, and 
approximately two pixels yeah I'm gonna say about right there that causes the film to have just a slight edge see the depression okay much more realistic that way okay and then I'm gonna select the lower layer which represents the white border of the Polaroid and right now it looks fake so we need to raise that off and give some dimension to this so in order to do that I'm gonna again select my thing and I'm gonna put a drop shadow on it and there you can see uh, I have my drop shadow okay and we can turn that effect on and off you can see how it raises it off the wood grain okay so now we have a much more realistic Polaroid okay and so we have now successfully created one now all we're going to do is now duplicate what we have here over and over and over again and then position these Polaroids into an attractive collage it's that simple so in order to do this okay I'm going to uh, first select all three layers so we have the top layer we have the uh, Polaroid film and then we have the border okay so I'm going to select all three layers and then I'm going to put them in a group and now we have group one okay so I'm going to go ahead and call that uh, Polaroid one okay so now I have a group and inside the group I have the Polaroid those three layers and now it's as simple as saying I want to duplicate 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 so let's go ahead and duplicate one so I'll hit command J and now I have a duplicate group and it's that simple so and I can now move this group any way I wish just select the two layers just remember the trick to this is moving the two layers at once use your move tool and then you can just simply move your second and position your second Polaroid just like so okay now let me show you some of the power that we have uh, we have total creativity it's up to your imagination and this is where your artistic side can come out and make this uniquely yours okay so I'm gonna go ahead and open up the first Polaroid and I'm gonna select the two layers now remember we're always working with the two layers the frame and the photo and I'm going to hit command T and command T is free transform and I'm gonna hover over a corner and I'm just gonna rotate this just slightly and then I'm gonna go ahead and close this up and I'm gonna open up the second Polaroid again working on the two layers the film and the border I hit command T and now I can slightly rotate this hit enter and I can continue on now, how easy is that so now all I have to do is just continue the process so I can select the first the topmost layer and then hit command J and now I have another copy and I can hit command J again and now I have another copy they're all on top of each other so I can come in move the next layer select this one and this one and then I can actually move it out see how easy this is come up to the next layer select the two layers again you just have to remember always move with the two layers selected okay and then use the move tool to make the selection and the move how easy can that be okay so that's how easy it is and again it's up to your creative juices I think I'll do one more here select the group command J to give me one more select the two layers to move drag it out position it how I want to position it it's up to me it's totally a creative process maybe a free transform and maybe I just want to totally twist it up 
And you know, you could just spend all, I could spend all day here. In fact, I'm going to do one more. I'm going to duplicate it one more time. Select the two layers. Then I'm going to move it. And I'm going to free transform one more time. And there we go. So there I go. I have my Photoshop Polaroid collage. And the best thing of it is, you can do this with any photo. And there's no right or wrong. So hopefully you found this interesting. And if you did, make sure you get down below and uh, hit the subscribe button so you can continue receiving videos like this each week. Uh, if you have any suggestions or any comments, please leave them in the video down below. And uh, until next week, you guys take care.